Yesterday, I saw Detective Pikachu, the movie. I mean, here's my digital ticket printed off. Doesn't really matter. It's uh, already been used. But I want to talk about it. And don't consider this a review. I don't consider myself to be a film critic. In fact, I happen to like the Super Mario movie. So uh, that should let you know that my taste probably doesn't line up with yours and might disqualify this. That's why I'm saying this isn't a review. This is my takes and my impressions. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a brief little um, synopsis opinion. And then I'm going to warn at some point that moving forward there's going to be spoilers uh major plot spoilers and all that jazz at some point but i will warn before i get into it uh if you just want to know my general thoughts here they are uh detective pikachu is a very good movie uh it definitely lived up to all of my hype uh and my hype for it was just to be the best video game movie i've ever watched and that is indeed what it is um the very beginning of the movie is utterly fantastic the very end of the movie is utterly fantastic uh there's a, a a small part in the middle where it drags just a little bit uh but then again it's entertaining throughout and i absolutely loved all the pokemon designs and the comedy is great there's a lot of very let me stress this very adult jokes in there that are going to fly right over kids' heads, so it's perfectly fine to take your children to. And I actually took my five year old son and my um, eight year old daughter to it, and they absolutely loved the movie. They were glued to it the whole time, even though they didn't quite understand everything going on, especially my son, because it is like a serious movie. It takes itself seriously, it doesn't try to be like a Disney Channel style, you know, try to make a lot of sense to kids like it, it very much owned that it is trying to tell a serious story and it did it very well and i gotta say the acting was superb the casting was great uh the story got a little predictable at certain parts for my taste but then again i'm an adult and this is intended for all audiences so for children maybe they needed some of this stuff to be a bit more obvious for them but honestly it's an amazing movie in its own right now like, is it like Avengers Endgame great? Is it, uh, you know, greatest movie of all time kind of thing? No, no, it's not. Uh, but it's a very good movie. And that is a big accomplishment for a movie based on a video game. Now, warning right now, spoilers ahead. I am basically going to spoil the entire movie because I don't really care. I'm warning you. I am warning you now from here on out major spoilers because i need to talk about this now you might say but nate don't spoil this i haven't seen it yet i haven't here's the deal you know what i hate about seeing movies like avengers endgame or detective pikachu or basically any movie like the weekend it comes out you can't talk about it with anyone <laughs> everyone's always like you can't talk about this don't spoil it don't. too bad i warned you it's happening detective pikachu is fantastic ryan reynolds is in the movie as ryan reynolds Biggest spoiler I could tell you right now. <laughs> it actually happens at the end of the movie. Um, before we get into that, and, and, and what do you mean? I thought Ryan Reynolds was Detective Pikachu. Uh, let me just get into this a, a little bit here. The movie really starts off great. Um, you uh, get into the mind of the main character, and he is very much a loner, right? He's a loner. He, he's always been a loner. He's basically an accountant. Uh, and doesn't have a Pokemon. He lives in a world of Pokemon where basically everybody has a partner Pokemon of some type. Uh, and he just doesn't. He, he's, he's never really latched on to a single Pokemon. Uh, at the very beginning of the movie, he's out with a, a friend of his uh, who's about to leave town. And he's like, hey, you know, this Cubone is perfect for you because he's also lonely. And then he tries to catch a Cubone. And uh, the Cubone totally doesn't stay in the Pokeball and then ends up attacking him. Uh, so it, it, it's really great, but there, there's a lot of, of, of undertones here about the seriousness of it, about how much of a loner this kid is. Um, you know, it, it appears that his mother passed away. Uh, you, you find this out later in the movie that his mother passed away at a very young age and he's been living with his grandma. His dad kind of, um, is a detective in rhyme, not kind of, he is a detective in rhyme city. Uh, but the son basically blamed the dad and moved in with his grandma uh and and hasn't really seen much of him since and uh what, what really gets everything going is that uh he ends up having to go to rhyme city because his dad was killed uh, was, was murdered or or what have you and this happened because of mewtwo uh they were doing experiments on mewtwo uh, out of the laboratory 
uh, and lo and behold, Mewtwo breaks out, and at the time, you think Mewtwo caused a big accident and killed his father and his partner Pokemon, who happens to be, you know, Detective Pikachu. Uh, and obviously, Detective Pikachu, uh, the Pikachu itself, survives, and uh, they end up meeting up at his dad's apartment. And it, it's just really interesting from here on out watching the development of him and Pikachu's relationship together. Uh, yeah, there's tons of comedy. I mean, there, there's jokes about cocaine. No, they don't actually say the word cocaine, obviously, for children. But uh, very clear reference to cocaine. I mean, there's a drug, the R, the R drug being used in it. So there's even drug use in, in, in the show. It's very... Um, very it's it's a it's comedic but it's a very serious undertone to everything um and what what this stuff does and there's like illegal pokemon battles happening where where some pokemon are taking the drug and it's just um it's just a a, a really um sombering film when you think about some of the dark undertones in it uh but they do a really great job of layering those dark undertones with comedic moments um obviously a lot of it coming from ryan reynolds performance as detective pikachu uh but just in general there's a lot of comedy psyduck has some funny moments um some of those you've probably seen in the in the trailers and stuff, but there's some funny moments from side. Like again, I'm not going to spoil everything, but there, there's just a lot of really touching moments in there. And honestly, the ending, I, I, I saw the ending coming. I didn't see the ending coming exactly as it did. Uh, because at some point, basically the, the guy who created rhyme city, I'm not, again, I'm not going to spoil literally everything, but the guy who created rhyme city, uh, decided that, um, he, he's basically dying and he figured out the best way to live forever or to like have a cure and become a better version of yourself is to basically become a Pokemon. Uh, and to do that is to take over the mind of, of crazed Pokemon and uh, transfer your mind into their body. Uh, and he wanted to obviously take over Mewtwo, who is the most powerful Pokemon um, of all time, or at least is the most powerful Pokemon in this world they created and uh it's, it's so obviously he wanted to take over the most powerful one and he needed to take over that one because mewtwo has the power um to basically merge the people's minds and stuff together once the pokemon become crazed on the r drug and uh it's very interesting because the big twist at the end is basically that um the boy's dad has been with him the whole time uh the boy's dad was out actually merged by mewtwo into uh, Pikachu, and that is actually why um, he is able to, like, actually hear Pikachu talk. And Pikachu the whole time has no idea that, uh, you know, the person talking inside Pikachu has no idea that it's actually his dad. Um, and so when they get, so when, when, when at the end of the movie, when obviously the good guys win uh, and the bodies get separated, you find out that that entire Ryan Reynolds voice was because Ryan Reynolds was put inside of the body, and Ryan Reynolds himself is the kid's dad. Pikachu doesn't actually talk. At that point, Pikachu is back to just being Pika Pika Pikachu. Uh, so um, I saw the moment coming. I didn't realize it was going to be exactly Ryan Reynolds. I don't know why. It just it didn't click with me until I saw Ryan Reynolds on screen. Then I'm like, oh, right. Like, Pikachu can't actually talk. It was the father the entire time, and he just didn't realize it because his memory was gone. And it's just such a touching thing. Um, and honestly, the whole, like, the world building was fantastic. Um, they did a great job making this world believable. Pokemon felt like a natural part of the world. And you saw so, I mean, there were so many different Pokemon. I don't think I could count them all. Um, I, mean, I don't even know the names of all of them because I haven't been like the most hardcore Pokemon fan over the years. But my gosh, like seeing Charizard in action in an actual battle, uh, you know, seeing Ivasaurs and Bulbasaurs and Squirtles and I uh, just, it really flashed back to my childhood. And I kind of wanted to live in this world. I wanted to be in the world of Pokemon. And I think what was so cool about this world is it made it kind of believable. Um, as an example, if you don't like some of the Pokemon designs, it's okay because the people in the show itself don't like some of the Pokemon designs and think they're ugly um, and, like, disgusting. As an example, there's one point where Lickitung licks one of the characters, and they're like, Are you, whose Lickitung is this? Like, this is disgusting. Like, it's a, 
Like, yeah, they even think that stuff is gross. Like, it, to be honest, Pokemon in real life would be pretty disgusting. They wouldn't be all cutesy like you see in Pokemon Go. They would be pretty gross. And this world treats it that way. And it makes all the Pokemon fit. They design the world to fit with their vision of what Pokemon would be like in real life. And it doesn't really matter at that point if you like the designs of the Pokemon or not because they are perfectly designed for the world they are in and it's a world i hope to see more from i hope this isn't the end of the of detective pikachu uh, i hope there's going to be a detective pikachu 2 and 3 and 4 or whatever they decide to do with the franchise moving forward i hope maybe they could spin off of this and start doing more pokemon uh, live action movies i don't know but i really loved how this show wasn't trying this movie basically wasn't trying to be a kid's show it was trying to be a good movie and I think that is what I loved most about Detective Pikachu is it wasn't trying to be like, hey, we're making this for kids. No, we're making this for everyone who's a Pokemon fan. We're making this for just people in general. Forget it being a Pokemon movie. We just want people to come to the show and enjoy. And I think that's what a lot of you guys are going to end up doing if you go to it or if you haven't uh, or if you uh, have gone to it, you know, what, what your thoughts might be. Uh, now, if you have seen the movie, go ahead, go down to the comments. Let me know what you think about it. Um, as I said, you know, I wanted to be getting spoilers. There's going to be lots of spoilers down in the comments as well because we talked about spoilers uh, in this. And there's so much more. Feel free to talk about whatever you want. Uh, if you are someone who is into spoilers, this will be like your place to have that conversation if you hate spoilers i don't know why you're still even watching this video because hello you just spoiled this for yourself i have spoiler in the title but uh yeah thanks for tuning in uh, be sure to subscribe uh like this video enter our nintendo switch super smash Bros. ultimate bundle giveaway through the gleam.io link down in the description and i'll catch each and every one of you in the next video